Hello everybody, this is Noid. Uh, today we're going to talk about the new hunter and how to use him. Okay, so let's first start with like where can we get him. So you can get him for free by just like going to the about him memory restoration event. It's uh, the nightmare mode. So you just click on the server wire restoration and you, get inst you instantly get the free character in early access too. So you don't have to pay for it. Don't worry, it's free character. Now let's see what he can do. He only has one passive and basically it says that if he's not in chase with any survival he's going to get a 10% movement speed the thing about this hunter is like his speed is actually average so he's about like a gamekeeper kind of speed but not like Wu Chen kind of speed or Reaper speed or even Geisha speed so when you get the 10% movement speed it's basically just like make him closer to the Wu Chen kind of speed when he's not in chase but when he found survivor he's going to drop down that speed to gamekeeper kind of speed now let's look at his ability he got two abilities at the start that he can use first is the spy ability he's going to lock onto a single target and get a little bit of uh, vision out of them from them is spying on them and then when it max out you can perform a dive attack you can dive as many times as possible it's like an infinite of time and as many as you want but the, the range for it's to like it's like a small blink little short blink for a certain duration very short one and I recommend you to use it wisely, not to just keep spamming that because it won't work that way. The second ability is called Raven. You can send a Raven in the direction of the camera facing. And if you hold on the button, uh, you can send it to the Cypher machine. Or you can send it to Rocket Chair with a Survivor on it too. Or even to an uh, activated exit gate. Uh, when, when there's a Survivor on that path where you send your raven the raven will just fly around their head and it's going to reveal their location for 20 seconds yes now once you get like second hit you're going to get one ability which is called the bad omen it basically says that you can teleport yourself to the raven that you sent and when he gets into full presence he will be able to do a double dive attack so it's basically just like you're poking and stabbing for twice twice the range that's it for now let's talk about a persona that we will use on him now we could go all the way up and down uh, 12 and 6 which is a full detention and also a confined space you might actually need that and also some berserker to uh, reduce the tight recovery when someone when there's a survivor on the chair and announcement to see a survivor's highlight when the exit gate is open and of course you need tinnitus but if you're a good strong player you probably won't need that or you could go to rage by taking down the announcement and owl and there you go you will have a faster recovery from stuns if you see any stunners in, in the survivor team now for the trade i highly suggest for you to use blink because when you have the scar mark on the survivor and you blink it will automatically lock onto the survivor on your head so it will guarantee you a hit after the blink you probably don't even need a teleport because like his ability already has a teleport on his own all right here's a one perfect scenario to show you look um i'm going to use my skill to send a raven to the cypher machine and then teleport myself over there because i know someone's decoding right there and then i saw the female that said start lock on my first ability on her and then i saw the priestess like she's gonna do the cypher right so i'm not gonna allow that so i'm trying to hit her but then because of my first ability is lock onto the female dancer I, my my character will just keep hitting the first one so in case if you play him make sure to toggle off when you try to switch targets like that and of course like these things happen again i try to swing at a pallet but because the ability is locked onto survivor on the first survivor and it's gonna do that again so i try to hit through the pallet too with my swing but i can't you just hit the wall instead at the where survivor at so be sure to learn how to toggle on and off when you're using his skill because that's very important or else you're gonna mess up like me anyway that's it from me now if you have any question regarding this hunter or you want to see a gameplay of me playing him you can also write down in the comment below that you want to see it or you can also just follow me on twitch where i always live at a uh, twitch.tv slash playing underscore all underscore noi or you can check down the video description down below and be sure to give this uh, video a thumbs up and, and subscribe too if you enjoyed this series because i'll be doing more of this with other characters so see you again have a good day